around the world. If 10% of the music industry gospel runs. To get your song to play on a pop gospel station, you have to pay $150,000, $200,000. Just to start in a little, like what, what we have mix show. In, 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 in secular music in, in world, we have mix show. Where you can pay a little PD, or you can pay a little director, or you can pay a little radio guy to get your music in the mix show. You try that over gospel. The first move. The first other song with Glacia Robinson, one of the biggest gospel artists out of Jamaica. And I tried to get this, this song here on, on, the, on the pop gospel station. The man said to me, say, well, for starters, it's 150,000. You know? I said, what? 150,000? <laughs> yes. You understand? So, it's all good to serve God and worship God and love Jesus and get baptized and all of them things. It's all good. But the, the things are the agenda, the motives. Be careful of the motives and the people that use you. The people that see you go through your stress. And then call you, they don't call you and say, You know, so I can get you a couple hundred dollars to go see a psychiatrist. Nothing is wrong with that, people. Stop making it be embarrassing. Stop making it feel like somebody disrespect you. For tell you, say, Yo, them want to pay for you to get therapy. Them want to pay for you to get some form of psychological treatment. That should not be something where you feel embarrassed about. Oh, but if you go dip in a pool and make the whole world say, Oh, yo, me dip, I'm clean now. That works? No, no. You're going to lie. You're going to lie because you're going to you're gonna want them to believe. <laughs> yeah, that was Wi-Fi. Are we back? No, they're going to tell you that, Oh, you're not praying right. You're not fasting enough. You're not praying enough. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not giving your all to God. You're still living in the world of sin. And that them are going to tell you now, you know. And you don't want to hear that. So your problems, them know that you have no sister and brothers. You have a holy teen because now you don't want to make the pastor feel like say, he was not a real prophet. We tell you about say, God, I got to fix you and God, I got to do this for you and God, I got to cleanse you and God, I got to make your problems go away. You even you don't want to you don't want the church sisters and the church brothers them to think that you're having any problem still. Because you're afraid my them say you're not live right. When in truth, I should be reaching out to you, sister. And I should be saying to you, sister, what me can do for help? Me not supposed to reach out to you and say, sister, give your life to Jesus. Then who have your life? Me not supposed to reach out if sisters and brothers. If you are going through something and the only thing I can offer to you, give your life to God. Me not, me not interested in your well-being. If the only thing I can think of when you're going through something is you need to give your life to God. In other words, me I tell us you're dirty, you live dirty, you know. In other words, me I tell us you are one drunker, you know. <laughs> in other words, me I tell us you are sin you living, you know. In other words, I judge me, I judge you. The only thing I can shoot you a message of um, I think you need to give your life to God, you know. Turn it all over to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to God. Give See, no 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 no. If I care about you, the thing I must call you and say to you, how can I be of help? What can I do to make your situation better? So if a money problem you have, I may have a couple extra bucks. May I say? You know, I'm not dinner. Right, I mean, I have $300. I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you half of it. For real? So, so, you never just make me. Your husband will beat you. Oh, God. Oh, we can't fix this nose. He might abuse the children, them too. Oh, sh oh God. Oh, we can't. I know somebody you can talk to. Hold on, I know somebody you can talk to about this. Yeah, yeah, me know somebody can talk to and he can tell you what to do. Them have a, yeah, man, them have a shelter and all of them things there and so forth and so on. And yeah, man, them can help you to get out of this abusive relationship. You see what I mean, say? Some people get, some people get raped. And them have got two things. You see? And all you can offer the person, you give your life to God. Turn your life. Like a you are the, are, are the predator. 
you, 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 give your, you, you, you need to give your life to Jesus. Like I, like I, you are the rapist. I know that the person who are here then and there. The person is supposed to hear, oh my God, that happened to you? Jesus pieces. Sister, you know, some you know, a, a, um, a therapist was very good. Yeah, man, one of my friends use her. She's very good. She, you can talk to her. You, you, me can, yeah, me don't really have no help of money now, but here we go on now. Me have a little social group. And you, you care if me talk to my people I mean, they and say, if we can put together one little thousand dollars uh, and pay your, your, your therapist fee for you. Yeah, man, we have a, yeah, Sandy them, Sandy them, and Imhotep them, you know, and me and them in our little social group, and, you know, more time, you don't know. Yeah, so the thing set, you see what I say? Yeah, man, if I want 20, 20 dollars, we can cook up together, and we can put it together, man. Me, me can, me can, me can ask them. Me not go tell them your problem. No, me not go tell them what happened to you. No, me just I tell them, say, me have a sister in. I go through some things. She, she, you know, she was abused, uh, she, you know, and she's trying to get some help to seek therapy. You know, I, I, yeah. Me not supposed to the first thing me I link you. Oh, give your life to God. Are you going to rape somebody? In other words, me I tell you, say, are you are the problem? In other words, me I tell you, say, you're not a victim. In other words, me I tell you, say, yo, you live dirty, you live unclean. So sisters and brothers, when you're having your problems, stop run, go to church, for them dip you under water. Stop make people tell you about, go give your life to God. Stop make people tell about, oh, 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 you, you, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, sometimes we're living in sin and God do things to get us to him. What kind of God me could I love? What make somebody do me wrong just to get to him? Just for him get to me? Just for me serve him? He might go do something bad to me? Like, I saw something this, this week. I understand it. But the reason why it bothers me is because so much people believe it. I mean, I understand that some people find comfort in those type of beliefs. But it is also dangerous. You see, the boy will kill the children, the mother Clarendon, and kill the, 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 the children's mother. The grandmother, you know what, is, what she is, she's holding on to? The grandmother did an interview according to the star. And she said, the Jamaica star, and she said, Is God make the man kill the pitney them and kill her daughter? Because God wants to test her. When we read that people, we don't know some is a man a religious, some is a man a born out, you know, the whole religiosity of the whole thing. See? When we read that, you know, the young thing we cannot think of, you know, then why people that think say them need to serve and love that wicked God here? We would have killed a man going to a place and cut children throat and cut the mother throat just to test you, lick you. So why God? I test you. When I try to prove who God try who God is trying to prove something to. Who am I, who and God a gamble? Where my fear test me to find out if me and him know things before it happens. So if him know before it happens, why am I test me? God knows that I am going to open that door when I get up from here. God will test me if I go open the door. So you know, don't know so I go feel already, God. You know, don't know so I go open the door already, God. Then what can I test you? I go put me through now. You know the outcome. Oh, you give me free will? Then if you give me free will, don't punish me when me don't do what me want to do. And when me want, when, when me want to do, don't punish me. Because you give me free will to do whatever me want to do. Don't tell me say it is free will if it comes with consequence. Or consequences. It is not free will. If I say to my pit and them say, run up and down the house and do anything you don't want to do. Yo, kick down the, the door them and mash up the place if you don't want to do. Your phone or house, do anything you don't want to do. Then I come home. Who turn over the dresser? Who mash up the bathroom? Who tear down the, the cupboard? Dad. You said to do what we want to do. We just felt like we were, you know, you know. We felt like we were superheroes and we were playing, you know, superheroes and we kicked down the doors. We're not gonna get the belt and come. Belt? God that night. Dad, belt. God, you're 
confused. You said to do what we wanted to do. God, we were played superheroes. We kicked the doors down. Yeah, but it's free will. But it's free will with some responsibility. But God, you never said that, God. You never said God, you can't beat with that. And you tell me if you do it, Daddy. You say, I our own. We you do whatever we want to do with it. So we could have it sell it. No, I still have a beat. No. I have a punish. No. Well, Dad, here we go. Don't give me no free will again, Daddy. Daddy, we no bad I want no free will from your Daddy. You see when you left your Daddy, just lock up your house and carry the key. We don't want no more free will from you. We don't want no free will from you. Because your free will has come with too much consequences. Beaten and lock out and this and that. No, Dad, I can't deal with that. That is what them have us believe in. That, oh, God is doing something to you to get to him. God now nah drive you crazy if you come to him. God now nah make you have no mental breakdown if you come to him. Sister Shani in your, God now nah make nobody rob you if you come to him. Because them people are rob all God too when them are rob. Go in at the church when you're reaching the sister Shani before you're baptized more you're going there and sit on one, one Sunday and when them are calling the offering listen what them say. When them call it the offering, and them read a scripture and them say, you can't rob God. So bring your tithe to the storehouse because you can't rob God. God never yet get a dollar out of it yet. You know who get the money there? Pastor and his family. You know who been getting that money over the years? Bishop Era Blair them. You know who I get the money there over the years them? The brother named Al Miller them. You don't know who I get the money there over the years them? A brother named T.D. Snake or T.D. Jakes or whatever they want to call him. You know who I get the money there? Gerald Alstein them. You know who I get the money there? Benny Hinn them or Benny Hill or whatever they want to name. We come now and they want a free flow dollar. We come now and both say them never did really get no message from God to take your money from you and take your tithe and offering from you and take all of these money to buy a private jet and everything. And them don't give about the people in the private jet. Don't give about the big house on the hill. Don't give about the Benz them. Don't give about the limousine them. But them come tell you when them are get old and soon dead. Say so God never did tell them nothing. So if you think say God are going to punish you by letting somebody cheat you out of your riches according to you. You're making a sad mistake because them people are rob all God too. So you run, you run from one situation to a worse situation in my opinion. Because these people take the grandmother's last and use a Bible verse to say, Oh, the lady that gave her last dime, she gave the most. And them take a little granny on the walking stick with a little pension money to buy her medication and them take that money there from she. And put it among your thousands of dollars, your hundreds of dollars in the offering plate and in the tithing plate. Them take grandma, little money, where she have a walking stick and a medication she's supposed to use the money that you buy. And she go home and go pray when the pain liquor, the dirty pasta, rub up one bakla olive oil and pray over it. And go so, Allah shalom, 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 and give one bakla olive oil. And tell her, say, this is anointed. And she go home and she rub it and she tell her, mine. She convince her mind, not her mind, I convince her. She convince her mind. Say so she now feel the pain. You remember that? And them call it faith. And then the time she go to the pastor and say, Why pastor they need them hurt body you no? Know? He say, Sister, you gotta pray. You gotta have faith. You got to believe. That is it. <laughs> that is it. God's brother Jamil. You think it's easy if you go over there and come back over here, come get back a career? You want to ask a brother named Mr. Vegas how hard it was? Fever you come back, come have a song of play. Because when they mark you, you know, when they're ready to say you're going back to your vomit, eh? you want to know how this serious? Check the minister. The minister have one of the body songs in a 2022. I'm afraid to even play it upon our live them when she has sing about God and preached preach about God. The song where she sing, the body, one of the bodies, the song could easily be one of the top songs of 2022. 
she do every plate when she ready for preach or go, 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 go do church. It not, it not fitting at the church thing. It not fitting over this or that. That is how deep it runs. If you understand that, it's a mental thing. You see? Understand that. You run with all your blessings. You understand? So, with that said, we want to touch on a second topic. We still have a very long time on that topic. But I think so. And we should have wait. We should have wait. We should have, we should have talk about one here next time, right? Come on, I want to talk about Sister Chanel Muir. I want to talk about her. I have a. I have a. I have a. What do you call it? I have an honest. You know? Presentation that I want to put forward about Chanel. But I feel like. I feel like we should talk about it next time because we talk, we talk so long about this. See? We talk so long about this. <laughs> ah, here we go. Do. Make we end this and we are forward back with a reason. What do you say? Make we end this. See? Make we end this. See? We forward back with a reason. We we'll just keep apart to the reasoning. Alright? So, so. Just a, just a summary on this. Just to summarize this. Stop having your problems and make people slide in your DM and watch the comments them when you put your information and your personal problem online, on the internet. And all these people talking about go to Jesus, go to God, go to church, go get baptized. Stop making people run into your DM are running to your messages, are running to your thing, them are running to your phone, WhatsApp message them, and I tell you about turn your life over to God. If you're a victim, you need certain professional help. Me not say God can't be your source or one of your sources. I ain't saying that, you know. You see what I say? Because remember, say you have the placebo, you know. Remember, say you have the placebo, you know. In other studies, them, you know, you have the placebo and you have the real thing, you know. And a lot of people get the placebo and, and them, them, them say them feel better. Them say, them say, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, you know, I felt good. I, I feel good, yeah. And that placebo them get. <laughs> you see? So we, we ain't saying that, that, that the, the God concept and the Jesus concept and the baptism concept, we not say it, it, it can't work, you know. Because I remember I said the mind is a powerful thing. But we are saying that should not be the first thing when somebody slide in your DM or slide in your message or call your phone and tell you to run to church when you're having problems. The first thing is supposed to be your well-being. And when you're going through stuff, people must listen. Not to tell you about God. Not to tell you about Jesus. Not to tell you if you go get baptized. Somebody get raped. And the only thing you cannot tell the person say, you need to turn your life over to God, you know. You need to accept Jesus, you know. That's secondary victimization. In other words, you tell the person say, yo, you come like a God a punish you, make you get raped, you know. You know how insensitive that is? You, you having issues and somebody will tell you, say, you need to just turn your life over to God, you know. You need to just give your life to Jesus. Them will tell you, say, I live, you live dirty. You see that? So what we need to do, when people are going through things, we could be more considerate. If you can't help the person, love the person. Because we may be doing stuff to further negatively Things that can negatively impact them. You understand them well being. So if you can link a person and say, yo, I know a psychiatrist or I know a therapist. And people stop feeling ashamed to go talk to a shrink. <laughs> stop feeling ashamed to go talk to a therapist. Stop feeling ashamed to go talk to a psychiatrist. Not no wrong with it. More people need to come forward and tell the world, say, yo, I'm in a therapy. More people need to come forward and tell the world, say, yo, I'm going through some stuff. More people are supposed to feel, you're supposed to feel, you know, you're supposed to feel like, yo, nobody, no, why, why should you feel like people are going to laugh off of you because you say you're having some form of mental breakdown? This is the world that we're living in, people. Why, why would somebody be having a mental breakdown and I have it as a joke? 
You see? And if you see you out there have been detrimental to your own self, like Kanye West, who is a whole other topic that we have so much going on, you know. Because remember, say Kanye West is a is a is a is a registered mental patient, you know. It, it, it is not a joke. Kanye West is a men is a is a is a registered mental patient. But, but what is the media doing? Them treating him like oh, this is not a mental patient because he's black. But if this were a man who go shoot up a school or go walk in a store and kill 20 black people, the first thing that be all over the news is, 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 is a medical patient, is a mental, mental, mental patient. Then they use that to extenuate whatever happened. So, so, so we, need to, we need to look at these things, people. Stop feeling ashamed when people have got through mental challenges, man. And the brain, you know, the brain is, is like some wire, you know. It's like a circuit, you know. The brain is a circuit and all the weed lick it, you know. Alcohol lick it, you know. Not for the man them where you see a smoke weed and all them things and all of them toxins there and all of them things that go up through the bloodstream, the bloodstream and go lodge into the brain, you know. When it lodge into the brain, you know, people. He call all kind of malfunction of the circuit. Understand that a lot of women get raped and all of them things and a lot of women are victims of circumstances. Remember, Sister Lisa is a victim of circumstances, you know, people. We see her victimization, we will laugh of her and ridicule her for years, you know, sister and brothers. We, we glorified people were victimized. Sister Lisa, you know. And now we see strange behaviors, you know. We think so if we just jump, jam her down in our pool, you know, Virgin. Make we talk straight, no people. Me go talk real no people, me go talk honest no people. Remember say we laugh off our victimization in no people. Remember say we clone our victimization in no man. Remember say we glorify people where we believe see are them people that victimized her, you know. Come on no people, man, make we be honest no man, one life we have to live people. Make we be honest before we drop out and left the earth, your brethren. The only thing we can think of now is to jam a sister down in our pool. And proliferate the whole thing all over the internet. Make we go back, make we think back and say, yo, what did the sister you got through, you know? No, the sister you got through, you know? Because remember saying, you know, we see it with our own eyes, you know? We see all the Stockholm syndrome. Talk to me, no people, man. We see the Stockholm syndrome. So we're going to just take her and jam her in her pool and just spread it all over the place and then people are going to laugh off her and people are going to feel like say, she are mad and the vloggers them are put up say, oh Lisa I go crazy and then yo she are get mad and all them things say, yo come on people make we, make we at least take into consideration say it's a human being that has been through a lot in our eyes. We saw it. We glorify people. We victimize these people and bridges and, and sisters. And then we come now we go like say we shock. We come now and go like say, we like say, like say, yo, this is a circuit. The brain is a circuit box. It now, it, it now start malfunction at, on, on impact. But it can take years to deteriorate. It can take years to start malfunction. Especially when you start aging. You see what I say? Don't just look and say something when people get physically abused. You know, the victimization, you know, that's, that's, that's victimization. That is, you know, that, that is the only form of victimization. Mental, psychological. Them things are dangerous to people. Remember when you put things on the internet about people, you know. You remember when you, you when, when remember, remember a lot of sisters we have around here where them put them out, where, 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 where disgusting, you know, you, you know, men because, you know, they might go through something. I didn't know I lose the relationship and all of them things there. And sometimes, and when we were younger and immature, you know, based on, you know, where we're at now, we, we didn't even think much of it. You see? We never, but we, we're grown now. We are big people now. 
We have learned so much. So we have to understand, say, yo, victimization, sometimes it is unseen. Because the person now wear a smile. But one day the smile just go away. And you just see what you're seeing. And then we take it for joke. We take it as we take it as nothing. And we take them but dip them under the water and I say, a long time you give your life over to God. A long time you turn Christian. Yeah man, hey man, hallelujah. No man. Professionals. Medical attention. As a matter of fact, the pastor we are run the church. Him supposed to be like Moses. We learned all the knowledge of the Egyptians. And the Egyptians them were versed in medicine. The Egyptians them according to evil in the scripture. They were the one who taught Europe and everybody else about medicine. The Africans them on a whole. But we could talk about the hub. You see? We could talk about Imhotep them. You see? How them people they're responsible for Western medicine. You see what I say? So we have to understand these things, general and sisters. You see? Understand them things. Them. So, this whole idea say, we got the people in the water. Foolishness, man. You see? We come back for the part two. I reason for Sister Shani and her. I want to be a little bit more. You know? <laughs> yeah, big up.